Hello Hattrickers, it's time for episode 60 of Let's Play Hattrick in San Marino with Inter Calvahill. Let's check out this week's cup match against Fiorentino UC where we played in the Coppa Sesta and we won three goals to nothing. It seems Sanotti wanted to redeem himself after last week's incident. So we're through to the next round in the Copa Sesta and that's uh, pretty good. We also managed to get all the training done. Perfect result for us in this one. Let's take a look, see if the scouts has something useful for us this week. Olini, 16 years old. Gian Giacomo Francioni, nice surname there, but uh, unfortunately 16 years old and low potentials mean it's an easy rejection. No. Risaliti. 16 years old, he's a keeper, and, and we get to know some playmaking skills as well, no specialty, easy rejection, last call, primo, 15, Polini, disastrous playmaking, weak defending, we'll pull him alright, but I think we will um, just release this guy, because this cannot be good uh, in any way, so uh, Polini, goodbye, we have to look at the training as well, in this week we did actually see one, two, three, four, five relevant pops. We had Camelini popping to outstanding defending, we had Lotka to formidable, Jakukeva to excellent defending, and Linda Mane popped to solid. The final pop this week was Mozzarella popping to passable defending. Here in the sheet we'll see first and foremost that Camelini is now at 2060 HGMS 28. Very solid for Camelini, and I think his transfer compare is around 2 million euros. Also, it's uh, getting interesting, even though speckless, uh, these two guys. We have to pay attention to the transfer compare of all the guys uh, developing their defensive skills in the profit slots. I have a little worry about Leas Lotka because his transfer compare has only increased by 700,000 since we bought him. And I think it's due to the fact that he's actually a little old. I've been trying with similar players in uh, my Danish team primarily and it seems to be going a little better there but they are also a little younger so that's uh, worth noting for anyone trying to trying to train defenders as profit players in their cycle pay attention to the age you can also see the hgms of the Elias log is not actually that that high and uh, it may be reflected in what we are able to make uh, in profit on the on Elias, unfortunately other news from the academy we did play against Dynamo under 17s. We are looking to see how Severini develops here. We are also getting messages from the scouts regarding this guy. And he hasn't revealed any spec yet, but he's still got a solid scoring potential and passable passing uh, potential here and um, well inadequate winger. So we'll try to see if we can uh, develop him nicely, but there's some way to go in scoring uh, and we only have 97 days left to train Sigismondo here. So it might be a little tough. Hopefully he'll reveal a specialty as well along the way. That's uh, really the most exciting player we have at the moment. A little cameo appearance from the V130 Hattrick International where we played the second round this Saturday. And unfortunately, I think I might have been a little too optimistic about my expectations winning the league. We did lose three goals to nothing against Padalov here. And um, they are looking quite strong rating-wise. Almost 180 at stats in the first round. And uh, that means that they are the only team to have scored maximum points after two rounds. And we'll see if they can keep that up in the next round where they play Kralovic at home. It could be a good chance to, to furthering their lead up front. Uh, not the best uh, second round for Haunenshelde, certainly. Sunday we played against AC Trepichetti in the league. And let's just check out the highlights from that match. Down the right, come on. Do it, do it, do it. There we go. Camelini, the core player. Camelini. Now we get another non tactical counter. On the right. Ooh. The nutty, the nutty. It's Kotatko with the goal. Good stuff. Good stuff. A pretty decent 2 0 win away from home, and it was very nice to see Camelini on the score sheet, one of the core players contributing very nicely here. Unluckily, we didn't see Francioni on the score sheet, but he managed to get his chance down the middle where we didn't have a great chance of scoring at all. But a good win, and it leaves the league looking like this Inter Calvahel in second place after Charles Lancia in front. In the next round, we'll play AC Vium Sornfri, and uh, we hope to make it two wins in a row. And if we look at the TSI number, 
us here in the starting 11, we should be in with a good chance for that to happen in the next round as well. That's all for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great week and hat trick.